Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I will be uh, solving the um, exam one that I have prepared and submitted for my student at Ajman University. And in this uh, level, as you all know, we started already the semester here in UAE, and we already have like uh, three lectures or four weeks. Um, we passed first uh, three or four videos here uh, on the uh, Revit Architecture Elementary course. So I wanted to, actually I submitted the exam for the student for the boys section. And in this exam, I uh, brought this very basic uh, geometry and very basic plan. And I wanted the student to model this uh, house very it's not even a house it's uh, I didn't even dig into the function it's just do the some partition so grid work and that's the first floor which have the staircase and the final thing is the roof a couple of elevations and the 3d and the 3d section for the stairs and sub some of enlargement here for the stairs as a detail to help the student to design within and these are the final shots I know the building is very basic and uh, this is uh, the major exercise or the major exam for uh, three hours or sorry three lectures so after three lectures you're supposed to have the ability to create this model anyway in this one I am testing the student ability to have uh, the full understanding and the ability to apply the material base uh, models. So you're going to see here, you notice that there is an exterior walls and it has actually been specified the types of uh, component or layers for uh, that complex wall for the architectural exterior and for the interior walls. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and try to model uh, this one. I hope that will be fit in uh, one video. Probably not. So if, if that's not uh, been achieved, I may cut that into a couple of uh, videos. So let's just start. So going to uh, Revit, I'll go to new and just create an architectural template file and hit OK. <clears throat> and checking the units they are millimeters and the grids uh, just five and five hundred five sorry five thousand five thousand except this one seven thousand so probably i will start up with the grid so you either go and move your hand to get the five thousand as such and uh, you know keep doing the whole thing I'm gonna make them all 5,000 in the beginning or else we can just change that uh, 5,000 7,000 and instead of modifying you can do that as such very easy and again before you go ahead you go to annotate a line dimension and make sure that your dimension that you applied for this grid is actually matching whatever you have been asked during the exam do not proceed until you see those numbers and you compare them to those and they are the same now on the horizontal side the a b c up to e uh, 6000 6000 4000 and 6000 so let's do it similar concept so let's have a go with this guy and uh, draw that and probably we need to change that to a from now and in it I will simply use the copy command multiple and constraint constraint here is very similar to the polar 6000 6000 so just push that down as a 6000 and another 6000 and 4,000 and then 6. If you notice that these are closer, closer to the horizontal line, just push them and all the line will be moved up. I think this is far enough. Same thing may be done here to adjust the distances and a bit in here. 
these are the horizontal and vertical grid and this time I'm gonna get di which is dimension aligned and do the same job here by uh, adding the the uh, dimension and to compare the dimension to the original one that we have don't forget if you want to cancel the dimension just click outside to stop the sequence now that's said and that's been done the second phase is to go to east elevation and compare your levels indeed so let's push that aside and we need now to go back to the elevation sheet and we see uh, that's east so we have 5000 and then 4000 sorry 500 and 4000 so we're going to do the same so this the ground floor will be 500 millimeter and it will be called gf and this guy yes rename all corresponding views and the first floor is to be changed So that's it, 4,000, that's more than enough. Uh, we need to push that a little bit down. So let's go to the ground floor. Now we can go ahead and create our wall. I'll pick the generic wall, edit type, duplicate, name it. So go back to the PowerPoints and that's the examination paper. It's a 50 millimeter brick as a cladding, 150 cast in place or cast in situ 15 by 15 as a cement. So starting from outside, this is the external cladding. So I'm going to say 50 mil or actually immediately brick and then underscore 150, uh, I think uh, cast uh, concrete cast and placed I'm just gonna say say that you know 15 as a uh, secret and I think another 15 as gypsum board fair enough so let's go ahead I highly advise you to name your name or add your name <clears throat> at each element you define now you have to do the same thing that's uh, uh that's the structure thing in here and notice that this is the core layer probably you need to open the preview so you see the section or a plan of what you got and you notice that this is generic modeling that we have in the previous lecture it doesn't have any modeling and as long as this is the structural part and we agree it's, it's the concrete cast in place so just click that and let's pick from the material uh anything similar to that so let's say concrete and we're going to get this one, cast in situ. So have it. Now you see it's been applied. Change the thickness to 150, and everyone will be happy. Of course, the function of it is structure, and it must be the only one wrapped by the two core grade layer that we can see in here. Insert. Push that up uh, here. This is an external layer. As you see, that's the exterior side. So I'm going to have finish four for exteriors and use the brick whatever type of brick available and the thickness is 50. and you see it's been added in here so again uh, insert now this time we push it down toward the interior side as you can see here it in here and this guy is a finish five to represent the interior thing and in this phase we need again concrete this is a sicker one so this one and the thickness is 15 and I'm doing uh, on purpose uh, to be uh, asymmetric wall so I don't want the left side or the outside equal as the overall thickness of the inside just to drag your attention to the importance of fully understanding the need to use core center line not wall center line it's a very common mistake that my student usually uh, tend to do gypsum board so that's a 15 again and as you can see that's more than enough hit ok and another ok here careful don't fall in this trap you have to do core center line before you go ahead and you know draw whatever you want to draw or the required from you now you go to the ground floor and you see it's a from one to four okay so you're gonna click you're not gonna see anything uh so it's a good idea to change hit escape 
change to find and then pick wall again and careful where is the outside from the inside because if you're going to go that way the exterior brick as you can see 50 is outside if you go that way boys and girls uh you need a space to flip it so remember that anywho so we're going to the intersection use the intersection indicator only to snap to the required uh, locations as you can see now you go down okay and use the intersection point and so on okay uh, but that should goes more if I am not wrong and click to close that is that now to yeah, it's just join the two segments of walls that I added that's too smart of the software and these are the walls that I did now let's uh, draw the part draw the partition and the partition is simply uh, our interiors are made of a 20 gypsum on each side so they're both our interior finishes and go to wall again and what is the main structure for it it's uh, what is brick okay the construction layer so probably you can pick any uh, brick already this one duplicate and I'm gonna call it uh, 20 gyps with a hundred of brick and then another 20 of gypsum again and your name it's a tractor so this guy should be 100 and the brick I will keep insert push it up again there's no here really big difference between exterior and interior I'm gonna pick both of them finish five which is an interior and I'm gonna pick gypsum board and I'm gonna use uh, I think 20 it was they should autodesk add copy here some sometimes some types of that instead of inserting again and repeating the whole thing so please autodesk do that okay so that's the gypsum board and this is another 20 and that's our partition again okay and now we have to follow we have to follow we cannot follow that because you know it's gonna be that's again core center line so we cannot do that because it's gonna create this gap so we had to use the finish exterior at least to get the uh, you know the walls are flush to each other so like this yeah there might be some differences between what I have as an internal dimension and what you got it's okay for this phase of work uh, let's have a look uh, the ground floor again too much detail so probably we need to zoom in in here you see this is a flush and then I'm gonna offset that uh, 2500 and 5000 so 2500 uh, whatever you're gonna add it will be uh, should be add to it the dimension for the you have to hit tab by the way to get the inner dimension otherwise it will be immediately jumped to the center so we have 2500 minus the thickness of the wall so I'm gonna select that and make it 2500 and again uh, another 5000 so in order to do that I'm just gonna go 5140 so if I go DI let's see yep my theory was right and the last room I will leave it as it is now we need to right click create similar and let's see uh, where I joined that it's here I don't think it's really um, explained in here probably with this it's a bit of more enlargement it should be also a flush anyway as I said if you get some differences in dimension uh, boys and girls no worries at this level I'm not gonna you know nitpicking in it that's uh, not really the way that I like it to be let's see so it shouldn't be flush with that shouldn't it 
yep it isn't but anyway I, I will use the other partition on the other side and we're gonna get or we're gonna keep the you know the flush or the rooms are actually rectangles as you can see so still this room are rectangle there's no there is no distortion as you can see this room is still clean from inside to be 100% rectangular you can push that down again I think this won't affect that much because it will stay as connected on this side and it will give you the alignment to this phase and also those will be stayed as they are anywho so uh, do we have uh, let's have a look at this maybe that will help us this dimension uh, first let me add this maybe I get the different dimension that I was saying about but it's okay even if it depend where you took the it depend where you took the dimension I don't know why it's not picking it anyway oops yep so 8000 and the last one I'll try to go as much as I can closer to the geometry 4100 so I'm gonna fix one of them uh, keeping the other in a correct case uh, 4800 so and 10 so if I push the overall thing uh, 50 to the left okay that makes things better but it messed up this wall for me so I'll hit undo careful so probably you need to unjoin that I'll unjoin it okay now I can you know hit move I'll select uh, oops this one this one this one and this one and I'll move 50 and then I'll extend that back again uh, you're gonna get clean room even if this wall is not flush with this one the inside still clean so be a little bit patient the inner will be also cleaned this is as good as it goes so uh, 4810 uh, 4, and then 2500 and whatever this one is I'll keep the cumulative here as a difference in a number uh, now I have 3610 and I'm just gonna go random number here create similar divide that and add dimension to it and it is 3610 so this should be one and try to copy this guy to the other side of the world and you can just uh, extend it okay so that's it again you can nitpicking let's nitpick let's see how this sh could go with this one 2040 and I can push that a little bit up again to get the 2000 but again I have to unjoin those both sides so I'm not gonna do that again I'm gonna keep it as it is okay what else this has been done now let's do the other side I'm gonna flush the wall here and try to get as much as I can get from that and then offset the result as uh, 4500 so let's go uh, create similar and I'm gonna get the external face if you didn't get it just hit space to get that okay and yeah probably I'll keep that even the dimension here is wrong because I want this wall to be flush I don't want to make any break uh, breaking walls or setback walls in, in the zone so anyway I'll just select that guy and then copy it 4500 plus uh, 4500 640 plus the 140 for the dimension for the thickness of the wall 
in any way. So far, so good. And we get an 8,000 millimeter partition away from the southern wall. So whatever this is, it should fit after you fix the dimension here. Beautiful. So 8,000 instead of an 8,500. So select that guy, 8,000 it. Okay. And just hit extend to make this wall reach in here and extend this guy to reach in here. Things look okay. Uh, 1,600 as a partition in here and then 3,000. So create similar. And add your dimension. Okay, and it's sixteen hundred. And we almost uh, twenty minute now. Yep, we need to stop. Let me finish the partitions, and then we stopped so far with this video and. I don't want to make a very long videos. Uh, this is a 3000 mil. Beautiful. So this is a 3000 mil. Okay, so that's it technically for making the or placing the wall in the proper uh, locations. And of course, without doors and windows, and um, before we close that file and uh, just go ahead and uh, select everything like this go to the filter and make sure that there is no nothing just walls that's what we want we don't want any levels to be included and you can go to the top constraint and make it locked to the level one and hit apply so everything is been locked now to the first floor as you can uh, see this is the more than enough for today and I don't want to make longer than 20 minute videos. So we're going to continue with that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.